All right, so this is what we got going on today. We're out in the garden and we've got a greenhouse, but it has no venting besides the door here. Um, I'll show you the door. Right there. Um, so what the plan is today, and which you've probably already seen in the title, um, is we're installing venting and then automating it with Home Assistant. So I've got these passive, passive vents right here that should just open with the fan that I'm going to install back there. So these will go up here. I've got two of them. These ones are 12 inches by 12 inches. Um, because it gets much too hot during the day for the plants that are in here. These are pumpkin plants. Uh, and then we've got lettuce here growing. Um, I'm not sure what's over here. But I've got this temperature sensor. It's a switch bot humidity and temperature sensor that I 3D printed a sunshade for. And it's easily can get up to 40 degrees in here uh, or more with the door closed. So, so that's what we're going to be doing. Um, probably do a time lapse for some of this, but what I'm thinking is either just straight mounting this to this metal cross member with self-tapping screws or self-tapping a 2x4 into this and then building a frame for these which would probably be the better option so I think we'll do that um, I'll throw a graph up here right now of the temperature that that this has collected for you guys to see what that is. But yeah, and there's our lettuce. And the pumpkins. I'll show you the fan we're installing as well. So this is the vent fan I got from one of my neighbors. Thank you, Doug. Right now the vents are held open. I've got to give it a little bit of a cleaning, but that's what we're putting to blow the air through the greenhouse and vent it. And then we'll have a smart plug that will be integrated with Home Assistant and as well as that temperature sensor is integrated with Home Assistant and then it'll all be able to be run off that. So let's get started.
So I sanded it down just so there's not too many sharp edges that we may poke the plastic or whatever. Um, and then we've got to use self-tapping screws uh, to attach the wood to the metal. Um, I'm gonna also, these aren't quite long enough to go all the way through the two by four and into the steel. So I'm gonna countersink with a one inch paddle bit into the wood and then also add this washer just so there's more biting on the wood and that should work pretty good. mounted up here. I only used four instead of the six I was going to because this is like actually surprisingly solid with just the four. Even with just two it was really solid. Um, and those vents are pretty light so. Um, now we'll move to the outside. Cut this plastic out. And then we're going to sandwich the plastic in between the vents and the wood the wood frame installed nice and solid it's open nice and easily now it's time for the fan which is going down in that corner there so let's start that so here's the fan cleaned it up a little um, I'll show you I'm going to take off these legs because I won't, I won't need them for where I'm putting it. I'll show you how I'm going to place it inside the greenhouse. All right, so I'm going to place the fan right here. And then I'm going to put two 2x4s two on either side of this. Um, and then attach the fan to those. So the 2x4 will be mounted up here and then down here as well. And then... I'll probably put a little leg on it as well, just to support it this way. Um, so yeah, so let's do that. <laughs> all mounted solid need to grease those just a bit because they're still a little a little sticky but 
Now I've just got to run this cord over to that shed. And then there's the outdoor garden. So give me a second while I do that. All right, so here's the fan running. Those are open. And what's interesting, and it makes sense, if I open the door, they shut. That's installing a fan and vent into the greenhouse. I um, hope you got some entertainment and enjoyment out of that. Um, I'm going to cut to building the automation to run this when the temperature gets too hot in Home Assistant. Um, Home Assistant, if you're wondering, is a automation software that you run on a computer basically a server and it can do all kinds of things but mainly on automation uh, logging temperature and so that's what I've been doing with this um, also we'll be able to see how many times this turns on in a day which is pretty neat so I'll show you how that works and then that's it all right so here we are in home assistant on the automations page uh, here are my two automations for the greenhouse um, vent off at below 27 degrees and then venting on above 29 so let's take a look at this here so device greenhouse temperature sensor trigger Temperature, temperature changes above 29 degrees Celsius um, for 30 seconds. Uh, turn on greenhouse vent socket device, greenhouse vent fan, turn on vent fan. Uh, so pretty straightforward, relatively. Um, I'm sure you could get a lot more complicated with that if you wanted. Um, I haven't found a need to yet. And then same thing for the turning off of the vent below 27. Turn off greenhouse vent. Uh, you could also add a secondary option. Um, say if the sun is setting, maybe you don't want to vent that excess heat and extend the temperature of the greenhouse a little bit into the evening hours. Um, you can set that up as well. Now if we go over to the greenhouse temperature graph here, you can see how flat the fan makes it. So it doesn't really rise above 30 degrees. Let's take a look here at this. You can see how it's got peaks and valleys of when it's turning on and off. Um, but we can look at a longer time span here. You can see back here it was really hitting it hit 43 degrees right around here is when I installed the fan and it hasn't really gone above 33 um, which is great all right here's the smart plug right there um, and then this is just a power meter check on how much power it uses um, using about 408 watts while running. OK, 
Okay, here we are about two weeks later. The system's still working great. Um, plants are growing. Haven't had to do any after setting, setting it up. It hasn't given me any trouble. Um, yeah. Fans been working great. Temperature sensor's been working. So yeah. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.